exclusively from 13 Music. Today we feature the career of Los Angeles area rocker Val Lepin and his rise as a local sensation. It's Brett Hanna in the Spotlight. As a child in Donetsk, Ukraine, Val began playing music at the age of six, following his mother's footsteps in music instruction, and eventually studied classical guitar. However, the young rocker would really learn how to play guitar and speak English once he relocated to the United States. In a short period of time, Val settled into the Southern California lifestyle. Bratana was playing gigs at legendary Hollywood venues such as the Roxy, the Viper Room, the Key Club, and the Whiskey A Go Go. Meanwhile, civil unrest began in the Ukraine, with Val's hometown of Donetsk being the center of devastating war and destruction, scenes which would further inspire his songwriting. Val recently entered the studio in Hollywood to work on Britannia's debut album, Rockin' Addiction, featuring 17 diverse rock tracks. Val, welcome to In the Spotlight. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. You relocated to the United States before the current war in the Ukraine. What is your no-spin take on the situation back home? Mm, it's a divide-and-conquer situation, that's what I think. Okay, in a nutshell, it's oligarchs fighting for the assets, basically, that's all. Um, they, during the Maidan Revolution, they had a great idea of uh, ridding the nation off of the yoke of the oligarch. So they overthrew one, and on the heels of that revolution, who came to power is another oligarch. He owns media, he's hundreds of millions of dollars worth, and him and his entourage, they take the sentiment of uh, the Ukrainian nationalists and start ramming it down the throat of the whole rest of the country. So uh, I knew what was going to be the reaction. So people didn't take it well. So the, uh, the demonstration started in Sevastopol, Odessa, Kharkov, Kherson, Zaporozhye, Lugansk, and Donetsk, where I'm from. For example, in Donetsk, uh, the demonstrations lasted for three whole months, every weekend. Thousands of people, from February of 2013 to May of 2013, they were walking down the streets, uh, screaming for the government to hear them. Some people, sometimes they were asking for the federalization. So there was no kind reaction from the government, so people started taking over the government buildings. In return to that, Kiev announced the anti-terrorist operation. In the return, the local security forces like Alpha and Berkut, they started the armed uprising. And uh, so that's it. And then Russia supports the Donbass rebels. And why anybody be surprised about this when Putin spoke about this on TV? And uh, the whole West supports the new Ukrainian government. And oligarchs make money, divide and conquer. That's what I think about it. Has the current crisis in the Ukraine inspired the songwriting on your new release? Yes, it did. Um, a couple of songs I wrote acoustically, and uh, I'm going to include a song about this whole thing in the rock and addiction. But besides the uh, specific song about the situation, there are elements and other songs on this album that, insp that was inspired by this whole intensity in this world. Our politicians inspired that too here in America. Val, what inspired you to be a rock musician originally? That was my first rock and roll song I've ever heard. It was Scorpions. And so after that was Judas Priest, Accept, Metallica, Motorhead, ACDC, Wasp, Man of War, Warlock, Running Wild. So those classic heavy metal bands inspired me, made me metalhead basically, and turned my world upside down. How would you describe your style and influences? Okay, so um, I continued writing in Los Angeles uh, at the peak of my appreciation for Nirvana. So Nirvana had a big influence on me. After that I heard Red Hot Chili Peppers, Tool, System of a Down. So Nirvana, Red Hot Chili Peppers, System of a Down, and Tool and those bands that inspired me originally, classic heavy metal. Mix them together in one pot, throw it and shake it. You'd be the judge because I don't have the name for it, but uh, that would be clo as close as we can get to describing my style. Val, tell us about the experience of recording Rock and Addiction. Oh, wow, that's nice. Uh, uh, so we started tracking uh, 
at the Hemisphere record with my original band that was called Soul Sale. And how that came about, I was very irresponsible person, I was a drunkard, asshole. I collected the traffic tickets one after the other, like nobody else needs a traffic ticket, it was all mine. So I couldn't re-register my car, and I figured if cops stop me, I lose my car. So I sold it and put that money into uh, the track and uh, first songs, first instruments in the Hemisphere record. And later that studio packed up and left. So, and luckily, thank God, a friend of mine, Michael, introduced me to Billy Grazia Dea of Biohazard. And we started working at his Firewater Studios and that's when the chemistry happened between the uh, artist and the producer. He's a badass producer, he's a rocker, he feels me, he knows what I want. So Rock and Addiction came about because I'm addicted working there in the studio with this, this guy and with my musicians. And uh, basically some people are addicted to heroin, vodka, coke. I'm addicted to uh, doing uh, rock music. And it takes a spin from the first song I wrote in Los Angeles till the songs I'm still working with Billy, my current, current band members at Firewater Studios. Finally, Val, what are your future plans following the release of your debut album? Going back to playing live, because right now we're um, recording, and after that is done, we're gonna go back on the stage, keep on uh, rocking the free world, uh, going on a national tour, writing you something together with uh, my current band members, Alex, Jake, Leonard, Alejandro, all badass musicians. So, uh, and the national tour with uh, opening probably for a big band like Red or Wasp. Maybe not Wasp, because I'm probably gonna die sharing the stage with Blackie Lawless. So that's, uh, those are, these are the plans in a nutshell. 13 Music Limited is proud to release the debut album Rockin' Addiction from Brad Tana. Available for download via online and mobile stores worldwide. Mm -hmm.